Finding out your power of attorney is powerless. You think you've done everything right, your parents or other relatives have signed a durable power of attorney. Among other things, it allows you to handle their finances, taxes, bills, bank accounts, real estate sales, if they become incapacitated. Everyone sleeps better. Months or years later, suddenly or gradually, the time comes when older family members can no longer manage transactions on their own. You take the witnessed and notarized document to a financial institution, a big brokerage firm like Wells Fargo or Ameriprise, or a national or regional bank or credit union. And officials say no, they won't honor your power of attorney. They insist that the account owners sign the institution's own power of attorney form, very unwelcome news, because by now the older account holders may not be competent to sign legal forms. That's why you're there in the first place. Claire Ullman, a Barnard College professor, recently ran into this roadblock. She and her husband have been helping an older relative consolidate her accounts. But Roslyn Savings Bank wouldn't accept the New York State power of attorney that the relative had signed three years earlier, when she sold her house. In this case, the bank wants a longer state form, in the meantime, the relative has developed dementia. We have a power of attorney, but we can't use it, a frustrated Dr. Ellman said. People sign these anticipating incapacity. Once incapacity arrives, it's too late to sign another one. Continue reading the main story. It's not clear how often similar scenarios, with their catch-22 absurdity, take place. But elder law attorneys across the country say they have encountered financial institutions unwilling to honor valid powers of attorney. Even in states where statutes require banks to accept a durable power of attorney, or waive their liability when they do accept it, elder law attorneys have seen some balk. Numerous clients have had this dilemma, said Bernard Crooks, a founding partner of Lipman Crooks in New York. They listened to all the pundits and drew up the documents. Then the bank says, that's very nice, but it's not our form. In Long Beach, California, Sally Gutierrez had helped her mother, Dorothy Hutchings, with a checking account at a local credit union. Parkinson's disease hadn't affected Mrs. Hutchings's memory or judgment, but at times she couldn't write. She had bad tremors on her right side, and she was very weak, Miss Gutierrez said. Even making an X was too hard for her. So Miss Gutierrez put her own signature on the checks and, in the spirit of full disclosure, carefully wrote underneath, Bo for 2007 amended Hutchings Trust. She had all the necessary paperwork, too or so she thought. In 2008, however, the credit union informed her by letter that it would no longer honor the power of attorney. Staffers insisted the family fill out the credit union's own form, accompanied by letters from two physicians attesting to the account holder's inability to make financial decisions.